What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm doing a little something different. A couple of subscribers uh, reached out to me asking me if I've done any videos about the rear disc conversion. And it got me thinking, I'm like, you know what? Not a lot of people do that on the 7th gen, like the videos on it. So I figured I'd do a tutorial for you guys today on how to do a rear disc conversion. Mind you, the Mugen EL and the Spoon ES1, they already have them. Obviously, the Mugen EL comes with it from factory here in Canada. And obviously, the Civic didn't, so I had to obviously do it. I'm not going to be doing it. I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial, a step-by-step -step on what you guys are going to need to do. Since I have to go do an oil change at Mercer's today, I'm going to utilize the fact that the car is on the hoist and I'll give you a better idea. That way, you guys can see. And um, you guys will see that on this generation, it's honestly not that hard to do it. A couple hours. And it's pretty simple. So right now I'm just letting the Mugen EL warm up. It's uh, pretty, really cold today. Um, it's starting to feel a lot like winter now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Get a coffee. Maybe I'll, I'll probably skip the coffee. I'll get the coffee closer to the shop. Uh, I've had a, a rough weekend. Friday I finished work. Got a piece of concrete in my eye and got it infected. As you guys can see, it's starting to look a little bit better, this one. And then now I just woke up with a stiff neck, but that's not going to deter me from uh, vlogging and uh, helping you guys. So, if you guys are ready, I know I'm ready. Let's get this vlogging gear and uh, kick today's ass. All right, guys. So, just made a quick pit stop, picking up Diogo. He's going to be heading with us to the shop. Uh, I'm going to chill and then I'm going to drop him off at his unit afterwards when we're done. So he can uh, do some stuff on both his Jettas. Oh shit. Look who it is. Oh, Jesus Christ, this shit. What's up, Gene? Uh, nice grandfather sweater, bro. Hey, I uh, like it. It's cute. Must be super warm. It is. Yeah. Have to. Of course you do. Alright, so we're gonna go to Mercer's. We're gonna vlog. I'm probably gonna shoot two vlogs today. Maybe three. Do you like uh, my crazy haircut? You got a haircut? It's a quarantine haircut. Because you know they had to shut down everything again. Or we won't get into that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, yeah. It's not a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Your seats are fixing my back. My neck is all messed up. So, welcome to the club. Although the Mugen Eel is loving this nice cold weather. Why do we have to work? Right? Well, you know, if the whole team does great on this YouTube channel, then uh, this could be our job permanently. It would be like the Canadian uh, version of the Boosted Boys. Those guys are amazing. But uh, onward, full speed ahead into a red light. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Probably could have made it too. 15 minutes later. So Diogo is just going to be pulling in the car, set it up on the hoist, Mercer is going to be doing the oil change and I'm going to be vlogging the back end, teaching you guys exactly how to do a rear disc conversion. Well, Diogo actually looks good in the 7th gen. Alright guys, as you guys can see, the EL comes with the disc brakes already from factory. Just like the 0203 EP3, they come with the 4 bolt, 0405 then switch to the 5 bolt. But honestly, to swap these out, it's honestly not as bad as like an EK, an Integra, where you have to do the whole trailing arm and everything. You're going to have to take apart the bolt right there where the camber is, right here. You're going to have to take away, uh, take apart this bolt, that bolt, that bolt on the suspension. And then you're going to have to take these three, which is a special socket. Mercer is going to get me the socket so I can show you the socket and then the whole spindle comes out and pretty much guys pretty much you just swap in the other one you reuse the same brake line but your e-brake cables you guys have to use either if you're in the states I guess you can use the EP3 one but here in Canada you guys can use the EL or the EP3 uh, do not use the RSX one we made the mistake using the RSX one 
uh, because that's what the guy sold it to me with. And uh, the e-brake was just too tight. Too, too tight because the cable, one cable was too short. And it put a lot of strain on it. So uh, make sure you guys run the EL or the EP3. Then you guys literally put it all back. You have to change. I, I believe, Merce, we changed the brake line for uh, the caliper, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to change the brake line for the caliper because you can't use the drum brake line. And uh, you bolt up everything. Now, on the 5 bolt, I'm not sure if it's the same concept. Well, it's pretty much the same concept, but I'm pretty sure you got to change the control arm because this pattern right here is a different pattern on the RSX. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's honestly the most simple, simple rear brake uh, conversion. And um, it's not that hard, probably a couple hours at most, you know, if nothing seized up and uh, you're good to go. Obviously you put some fresh rotors and some fresh pads and you know, Bob's your uncle. Unless your, your uncle's name is Jim, then his name is Jim. Okay guys, so this is the socket that you have to order. Um, a lot of hard, uh, like stores do not carry them. It's usually special order or you can get them like on Amazon and eBay. It's called a triple square. I got that right, right? Yeah, yeah I got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the socket you need to take out the, the bolts on the control arm. It works on the RSX, EP3, and all regular seven gens. So that being said, I know this video is very short, but it's very helpful. It's a tutorial. I am not taking out anything to put it back on because then I'd have to pay Mercer money for that and I don't want to pay him money for that. Uh, but it's pretty easy. Uh, Labor-wise, it's not bad if you got someone to do it. I don't know why I was still holding the socket while I was recording, my bad. But yeah, um, if you guys want to try it yourself, it's pretty straight through it, uh, straight through. Man, I can't talk. And uh, performance aspect helps the braking a lot. Um, on my Civic, I know I had to switch to a 4040 prop valve because uh, I also got rid of the ABS. But now there's like kits like Willwood that make uh, uh, adjustable portioning valves and everything if you want to eliminate the ABS. So yeah, hope this tutorial helps you guys. And uh, I'm gonna finish off the oil change and then I'm gonna go outside. I got two more videos I want to film today so I can line up because I'm gonna be pretty busy at work and I might not have some time. To, to be vlogging in the next week or so. So I'm gonna try to knock everything out. Guys, like always, like, comment, subscribe. Go follow Alto, Diogo, and Mercer on Instagram. Their links uh, are always in the bottom. Just send it. Hold on before I smack my camera with the socket. Yeah, I hope Tim Morton is fucking sponsor. Yeah, yeah, we gotta stop swearing. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, after this video. But yeah, Tim Morton, please sponsor us. We love your coffee. Thanks, Timmy. Peace. Peace.